it's been a gradual thing, but it's really shown me like how amazing the body is at healing and how we're capable of recovering even from the worst of places. morning i'm in utah right now and it's a beautiful snowy day today jake is headed out to go snowboarding with his friend and so i'm kind of going to be doing my own adventure today and so i thought i would take you guys along with me um i'm going to head up to my aunt's house and we're going to go snowshoeing so i'm really looking forward to that i decided not to go <laughs> skiing or snowboarding today because um, I really just don't think my neck and my spine is quite ready to take falls like that. And so just trying to slowly progress, I'll get there. But I'm excited to be able to go on a little snow adventure with my aunt. I think it'll be really fun. And it's just crazy to be back here in Utah. So um, when we left, we used to live here. When we left, we went to North Carolina and then... We hadn't actually planned on moving, but I was so sick that like we had to stay there and decided to move. And so Jake came back here and he sold our house and moved all of our stuff across the country and I wasn't well enough to help. And so it's just really cool to be back here and be doing better and be able to enjoy being in the mountains again. And yeah, it's it's been fun. And I'm just grateful for how much progress I've made and like just to be able to travel again and it not be so difficult. I am actually someone who really loves the cold and really loves the snow so this weather has been perfect um, for me and I actually wish that we got a good amount of snow in North Carolina because I just love the cold. It makes me feel better and um, I don't know there's something energizing about it. I know most people like try to escape it but I like it a lot so I'm just gonna enjoy it. Well this is the first time that I have driven in Utah in many years and it just so happens to be snowy today so that'll be interesting but thankfully they keep all the main roads really clear and plowed because snow is such a typical thing here so I think we'll be good um but yeah sometimes it just hits me that I'm like oh I'm driving by myself I'm going on an adventure by myself and that's something that I couldn't do for a really long time. It's just a good feeling. And I love being able to drive without my neck brace on. And in the car lately, the last few months, I have not even brought my neck brace with me. When I first started trying to not wear my neck brace in the car, after I got to that point where I could do that, I would still always bring it with me and sometimes need to put it on after a certain amount of time. But now I can go on several hours in the car without a brace on and I typically only wear it when sleeping so I still wear it when I go to sleep. I can sleep without it but I just usually wake up not feeling as good. I know that eventually I won't need it at night and I'll find a way to be able to sleep well without it on but um, for now it just feels really good to not have to wear it during the daytime, to not have to wear it in public. Um, obviously I'm grateful that I had it when I needed it but it's such a blessing to not need it. For so long, it felt like I just, I just was not even anywhere close to getting away from needing the neck brace. And um, now I don't anymore. And so it's been a gradual thing, but it's really shown me like how amazing the body is at healing and how we're capable of recovering even from the worst of places. And that is, such a gift and such a blessing and so yeah anyways i'm gonna get going and i will take you guys along with me finished up the snow hike. I'm just having a beef stick and I am actually thinking about visiting one of my old physical therapists who we 
got to be really good friends with when we lived here and so hopefully he'll be there it'd be really good to see him um and the snow hike was so beautiful and really really fun i enjoyed getting to see my aunt it's been years since i've gotten to see her and she was so sweet and kept saying how happy she was that i was doing better and um just how different i looked from the last time i saw her so it was good and I just absolutely love being in the mountains in the snow and it was actually pretty steep. My aunt was like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that it was this steep. I kind of forgot and um, I don't know. I just enjoyed it and it was kind of hard, but it was, it was good. It was fun and I was like, I don't have my neck brace on. I am able to like climb up this hike at a high elevation. It's been snowing today. The weather's not been great and all those things like just wouldn't have been possible for me not that long ago and so I just was super grateful and just really really enjoyed it. I'm about to put gas into a car for the first time in quite a few years um so hopefully I remember how to do it. <laughs> So my physical therapist was there and I got to see him. He gave me a tour of their new office and I kind of just gave him an update. It was really good to see him and he showed me they have this really cool water sort of tank that they use with their dysautonomia patients and you like good success with it for POTS. I'll put a little clip of that here. That was really cool but what we really liked about him was that he's just like really open-minded to different things and just wants to help people feel better and as sad as it is that can be rare when it comes to doctors and medical providers so yeah it was good to see him i'll have to come back and bring jake next time afterwards i went over to the redmond store and it's just like a farm to table grocery store and cafe and i had a grass-fed burger patty there and i just kind of looked around a little bit and then I came back to Jake's friend's house and I'm just waiting for them to come back from their ski trip. Honestly, that was a really fun day and there's something that just feels really so exciting to me about, it might sound silly, but about being independent because for so long, for years, like I, I was so dependent on others to help me because I was too sick to take care of myself and even in the worst times of my chronic illness, like I couldn't even, it wasn't safe for me to just be alone in the house. And so it just feels good to be able to like go on an adventure by myself and um, drive around and just kind of decide what to do. I, I don't mind spending some time by myself and it was fun. It was a really good day. And um, I'm definitely worn out, but I did a lot today and I am just grateful for all the progress that I've seen. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and rest do some more DNRS visualizations and just relax the rest of the day. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and I will look forward to seeing you in another video very soon.